Alright, what it do y'all, this is your boy Pat coming at y'all once again and welcome to another episode of Social Media-ish. Well, as the year is winding down and coming to an end and we're looking forward to 2019, we can just say 2018 has left us with a lot of memories, happy, fun, sad, rough, and all that right there, you know, whatever you was into and things like that. But I'm like, you know, for my, well, excuse me right there, for my final video of 2018, I'm just going to basically drop it off with this right here. Now, everybody remember like back in May when the whole Yanni versus Laurel thing went on popping off? Laurel. Laurel. And to anybody who's sitting out there, I don't care what you say right there, it's Laurel. Fuck what the hell all you Yanni motherfuckers are saying and all that right there and things like that. It said Laurel. And if you don't like it, buck up. What? What you gonna do? But anyway, with jokes aside, all we're basically right there, when it comes to that, we just say move over Yanni versus Laurel. Because now there is a new soundbite going out there. It involves everybody's favorite childhood show, Sesame Street. Now, if you've been hearing the stories and watching things like, you know, like on online and all that right there, it involves our boy none other than old Grover, old Super Grover himself right here, where it's like this little clip right here. Now, when I first heard that, the first thing that came to my mind was like, wait a minute, did Grover just cuss? So I had to rewind it again. Move the camera, yes, yes, that's a fucking excellent idea. And as soon as I heard about three times, you know, I'm, I'm sitting right here and I'm like, there was a whole lot of people, you know, I'm in like um, people comment section, I'm like, oh my God, Grover just dropped the F-bomb, he just dropped the F-bomb, oh my God, Sesame Street done went gangsta. And of course, people are like, no, 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 you didn't drop the F bomb. What he is saying is, that's an ex that sounds like an excellent idea. I'm like, bullshit, that's the F bomb I'm hearing right there. So, you know, right now, it's, it's a whole lot of little, it's a little fun debate that's going on with social media right now. And especially on Twitter because everybody's like doing this whole entire thing. But now, I just want to drop it down to anybody that's watching this video right here. What do you think? Is he saying, that sounds like an excellent idea? Or is he saying, that's a fucking excellent idea? Leave your thing down in the comment section below, giving your answer. But like I said, you know, like I said, I'm gonna wrap up this video right here. This is just gonna be like a little tiny video, just winding down 2K18. And all I can basically say is like, be looking forward to my channel and coming up next year doing 2K19, because like I said, I'm gonna be doing a whole lot of changes as you've been seeing that's been going on right now with the different types of videos. So I'm gonna start mixing all that up right though with social, political, and fun things. Whereas basically, this is gonna be like a random channel for me. It's like whatever I wanna talk about, I'm just gonna bust it down. And if you like it, you watch it. If you don't, you know, it says, hey man. But I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna throw some fun back into this channel right now. And hopefully, by the middle of next year, I'll be actually be live streaming because I'm right now, you know, saving up, trying to get some new equipment and all that right though. And hopefully, you're going to be seeing your boy doing some live streams and doing some interviews with some of his favorite YouTubers and like the people, you know, who done had me on their live streams and all that right there. I may be paying it forward. But anyway, like I said, I'm looking forward to 2019 and hanging out with each and every one of y'all right there. And until then, it's your boy saying peace and happy new year. We out.